Hey folks, and welcome to the Pitnotic Symposium for the 21st of January 2020. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a, a trade that we had filled and we're waiting to work. Okay, so we have the Australian dollar, Singapore dollar. And if we have a look here, you can see that we had this nice area of weekly demand. Okay, and um, the reason that this area is interesting to us is because we had two periods of accumulation here. Um, this candle closed above um, uh, the last candle of accumulation, but before it left, it pulled back to this area here, and this is where price pulled back to exactly. Okay, so this is our entry. Our stop is just below here, so we could um, maybe move that lower or whatever. But I mean, we have I mean a tiny, tiny slice of a trade in there, and so now it's a waiting game. Okay, we have this area here. You can see it pretty clearly how, how price poked down. <clears throat> we had another go and then price gapped up and left uh, in a real hurry. And when price left here, we move through this. Okay, so price moved through this. So the origin of the move that took out this uh, supply is here down right there. Okay, price came to it, left. Now we're having a second test. So this is a, this is a second test. And the reason this is an interesting area is because we are really, really low. Price tested this area, rejection, tested, rejection, tested, rejection. So there's a lot of rejection at this area. Okay, and so is this area going to hold? Absolutely no idea. I don't know if it's going to hold or if it's going to uh, get blasted through. But there's a probability that it's going to hold. And so that's what we want to look for. Okay, so here there's no supply here. We have, we have micro supply and demand here. Um, we have this area just here, which is interesting, this one here. So this might be an area that price will have a difficult time moving through. And above that, we have this one here. Um, and I'm taking this one here because we have the origin of a very strong move, which is here. This is the one right there. When price left here, we managed to do all sorts of damage to market structure. Um, right here, we took out this area of demand, this one, this one and we actually managed to move below here. So this is the origin of a very strong move. And so I'm expecting price, if this level holds, to wriggle higher and keep going for a while. If we go on the weekly chart, you can see that that we have, let me refresh that. i remove these here, these are kinda in the way, gone. And so we have, we have an area of demand. When price left here, we moved above here. So we're testing this area of weekly supply, <clears throat> got close to it, got even closer to it, price retraced, and so I'm expecting price to have another go uh, at some stage, okay? And so we have a tiny, tiny trade on, a very, very tiny trade on. I'm just thinking that price is gonna have a, a very slow wriggle uh, and continue to move up. Okay, so we have like the interest rate differentials, uh, they're bearish, but it's not a very big swap that we're gonna be paying. So. I'll be patient and hold this for a, for a week or, or two. We'll see what happens and then see if we don't manage to uh, move up and through these areas here. So if price manages to move below this low here, well then we want to be out of the trade and we want to begin to position ourselves short from areas of supply. We have this one here, which is the closest. Then we have this one here. So this will be interesting to see what happens. Then we have this was the Canadian, sorry, the, uh, the Kiwi, Canadian dollar. Uh, price is reacting at this monthly supply. When price left here, we move through there. Price is returning to this area just here. We have a closer look. You can see that we had this, this nice candle formation here. Price went up, went down. Uh, this candle closed. It moved below the low here and the, the slingshot was pulled back to here. Price came into there, it went a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, poked into this monthly area, and then this is where we left. On the daily chart, uh, note that we had this upward sloping trend line, which pokes into this monthly supply, and price managed to break away. Okay, so we had we had a accumulation, accumulation, we had this one here, this, this one uh, closed below, and this one here, you can see the slingshot was pulled back and then we left. Okay, so this is the origin of the move that caused market structure to fail and which took out this low here, which is a trend line low. So I'm thinking price will wriggle up here and then we'll start to wriggle south from there and likely move to a nice area of um, opposing demand, which we have. We have something in here that I wanted to, if that manages to hold. 
So if this one doesn't hold, then we could wriggle continually uh, lower. But at some stage, price will want to come back up here, at least to this point here, um, before it continues lower. And you can see this more clearly on the on the weekly chart. Our price went down, went up, went down. So at some stage, it's going to want to come back up to here and rebalance, because um, that's what price does. It likes to it likes to trade efficiently. And we'll be doing that once price returns to the origin of this. So this is a, a higher risk. Uh, this is a lower risk. So entries somewhere in here at a micro supply. And this is the trade that you'll hold for a longer period of time. And you can see that very clearly right here, right there, which looks like that. Okay, so that's what we have there on the weekly and on the, on the daily chart. Maybe we have something that looks uh, pretty clear, do we? Yes, we do. We have something that looks like this Let's see. okay move this to the high of that super so that's what we have there okay so that is the monthly and then nest, nest, nested weekly and nested daily so this is a this is the ultimate place that we'll be looking to sell but shorter term we can look here because this is where this is price reacting at monthly supply um, market structure failing on the daily chart and so a break lower for the shorter term. Um, we'll see how that one pans out. We have the Kiwi Franc. Okay, so this is, go to the monthly chart. We have price breaking down very quickly. We have a low, a high, low, lower high, lower low. Price pop down and then we form this, this strong area of uh, supply. We cut down below this low, poked into this, uh, the beginning of the buy zone here. Now we're reacting. So I'm thinking price will poke up into here. We'll move back down to a closing weekly demand here, and then we'll move higher. So if price manages to reach this area before it reaches this area, well, I'm going to get out of this trade. Okay, then I'll just wait for, um, and potentially look to buy down here. But on the daily chart, you can see that this is not a very attractive area. It's a little bit messy. And so I think that price will have an easy time moving through this uh, in contrast to this, which looks a little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, powerful and significant if you look here on the, on the weekly chart. Okay, so that's what we have there. Um, I'm going to keep this sweet and short today. We have guests uh, visiting. Um, so if you have any questions, post them in the forum or leave a comment here. If you like what you're seeing here, please subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications next time we publish a video. Okay, thanks for watching.